Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. A happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> is that funny? So, yesterday we put up these shelves. Today is Thanksgiving and there's Moose's tail. But soon I'm gonna start cooking some Thanksgiving food. We're going to my sister's house for Thanksgiving and I wanna set up some books on these shelves. Yeah. Oh, I am very behind schedule today, guys. Holy smokes, it is 2 p.m., 2.05. I have to leave here in like an hour. I need to put on makeup, I need to do my hair, and put on clothes that aren't dirty. Uh, there's a lot to do, and Corey helped me peel potatoes, and they're boiling right now so I can make mashed potatoes. I'm making some of the food now that we're gonna eat tonight. I explained this yesterday in my vlog, but not today. So we're going to my sister's for Thanksgiving. She, months ago, was like, I don't do Thanksgiving, so we're doing it at her house, but my babies have kind of like stranger danger, and they don't do well around new people and there's gonna be a lot of people they don't know there so I'm worried they're like not gonna eat and it's like their first Thanksgiving because last Thanksgiving they were in the NICU I want them to experience Thanksgiving food and really you know live that life but I know that there they're just gonna be clinging to me and Eric and probably won't even let us put them down for a millisecond to do anything so that is why I'm making a little tiny uh, Thanksgiving dinner here for us to have when we get back so that they can experience Thanksgiving food so that's what I'm doing but right now I'm my vlog. Then I'm gonna do my makeup and hair. Okay, bye. Okay, I'm making the mashed potatoes. This is the only thing I'm making before I go. And I made the pecan pie, but I'm bringing the pecan pie with me. Milk, cheese. Come on. I got my masher. And I just mash away. Okay, I'm at my sister's house. Maisie got a little freaked out the second we walked in. She started crying with all the people, so I just took her in my sister's room to chill out for a second. Now she's doing better. Yeah. You wanna go eat some turkey? You wanna eat some turkey? What do you think? Yeah? Yeah, say Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Look, I never show you guys the twins matching outfits anymore because they always just get them dirty immediately and have to change. But these are their outfits today. Little black and white like sunflowers. He's got a little bow. She's wearing little shoes. Wesley didn't like his shoes, so he took them off. He's wearing black Converse. That's their Thanksgiving outfit. Okay. What are you doing? I'm about to um, creme brulee I, or brulee. I don't know. Creme brulee. You're gonna brulee the creme. Brulee the creme. Yep. You're gonna. Burn some sugar is what you're gonna do. Yep, I'm trying. Look at you, Jacob, the chef of the day. This is the fanciest Thanksgiving dessert you could have possibly made. Oh, nice. Okay, we are back home. I've just finished making our Thanksgiving dinner for a little fam. So we're gonna go eat. Ow, oh, I just stepped on a rock. Ow, oh. Oh, Flynn, are you gonna come to my restaurant, my Thanksgiving restaurant? Yeah. Okay, I'll take you right this way, sir. Um, right over this direction, there's a restaurant. Oh, look, there's one of our waiters who works here at the restaurant. Here's our restaurant. And this is your seabird over here, young sir. Um, can I get you anything, sir? Yes, I... What would you like? A glass of milk. A glass of milk. Yes, of course. I'll be right back with that, sir. What you trying now? Is that a biscuit? You want this? You want to try some stuffing? Do you like that? Yummy, yummy. Do you want to try this? That's stuffing. You like that? He didn't spit it out. That's a big deal for Mr. West. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> what you got? This is the stuff. That's a this classic. This is what Thanksgiving is always about. Can you see this? Jelly. Yum. Mashed potatoes, put on the cob, a turkey. We got stuffing. We got biscuits. We got that. Boop. We've got the pie that I already cut into and started eating. Gravy from a packet that was expired. <laughs> We're ready to roll. But I wanted to see the babies try the food. So they like the stuffing. That's exciting. Let's try the mashed potatoes. Not so much? Yeah, how about you try this one? It's mashed potatoes. Do you like that, Wessie? Not so much? Okay. Maze's clothes got destroyed, which means you ate pretty good, right? 
Did you eat good? She's freaking out. It was a very different Thanksgiving, but lovely. It was kind of weird for me because it was the twins' first Thanksgiving, not at the NICU. I consider this to be their first Thanksgiving. Obviously, they were around last Thanksgiving, but they were definitely in the hospital, and it was a really sad uh, time. I wanted them home, obviously. Yeah, we got little footprints of them that I wanted to do again this year. Dang it. Oh, darn, I'm so sad I forgot about that. I need to go find those footprints somewhere in one of these millions of boxes and put them on display even though I missed it. Dang, I'm so mad about that. That was like something that was really exciting and special for me when they were in the NICU was we got to do little um, turkey footprints of them and I really wanted to do it this year with the kids. I can do it tomorrow, it's okay. I just can't forget. Oh, I'm so bummed I forgot about that. So anyway, yeah, they were in the hospital and I got to do their little footprints, um, spent Thanksgiving with them, but also kind of hosted Thanksgiving still. I love hosting family get-togethers and I needed to see my family. I was like going through it. So I hosted a little Thanksgiving and and yeah. Oh my gosh, okay, so I just went to look at my Thanksgiving of last year, my vlog. I'm so glad I vlog, because I have stuff like this. There's little Wesley, there's Maisie, and you can't tell how tiny they are until I put my hand on her. Look at my hand compared to Maisie. She was probably three and a half pounds at that point. And there's little Wes, hold on. Oh, cutie bug, there's a Wesley boy. Oh my god. That would be awesome. Here, let me pull this up. I was kissing his head. I was breaking the rules. Oh. <laughs> I broke the rules to kiss his head. Oh, you made me cry. God, that was so hard. I still cry every time I look at pictures or videos of them in a queue. Oh, it was so sad. Anyway, it just was weird because I'm a big, big holiday person. Like, Obviously, I love holidays. I go all out for every holiday, every birthday. Like, I love a reason to like throw a get together with my family. It felt bizarre that I wasn't throwing Thanksgiving. And then also, we're in a new house and everything just feels so different. It was nice that once we got home from Rachel's Thanksgiving with her friends and Abby's family and everything, that, you know, I had a little Thanksgiving dinner here with the kids so that they could like really, you know, fully experience it and enjoy it because Maisie at Rachel's house was pretty freaked out just because she's not good with new people. Wesley, was was great he was playing with all the kids and he had a great time and Flynn has just been tired and he's having a hard time with the transition he's very sensitive how I, like me I think the transition to the new place has been like weird for him too like we, when we got there he was like hugging me and then he found my mom he was hugging my mom he's like there's just too many people here and I was like okay you're just like your dad with your social anxiety and you're just like me with your sensitivity so um you know eventually it was just too much and so we had to go but so I'm glad that I cooked a little quick dinner here. And I know it looks like, oh my gosh, you cooked a whole Thanksgiving dinner. Girl, we got a pre-brined, pre-seasoned turkey that all I had to do was throw it in the oven. And I made the mashed potatoes this morning. Like I peeled them with Corey, boiled them, made the mashed potatoes. They've just been sitting on the freaking stove all day. And then it was instant stuffing, instant like packet gravy that was expired. And the biscuits were instant like thrown in the oven too. Like nothing took any labor of love. And when we got home from Rachel's house, I was like, Eric, can you watch all three kids for like 15 minutes while Corey and I have finished making all the other stuff so yeah it was like really quick but um i'm glad i did it and the babies liked it for like a hot second but then they changed their mind they hated it again so anyway um it's time to clean up so let's clean up
Okay, I've cleaned up my beautiful, incredible, amazing, insanely, gorgeously big, great room, living room, whatever you call it. And I want some of my pecan pie because it's really delicious, but I want it warm. So I put the oven on low and I'm going to heat up my pecan pie in the oven while I tidy up the last few things. Corey cleaned up a our Thanksgiving dinner because he's an angel. And look, he put the turkey in the fridge, but he got all the turkey off the bones and he left a wishbone. Are people gonna see we're barbaric? We, I mean, because we ate meat? Because we're really I good. guess. I used to always do this when I was a kid. And I used to do this when I was a kid too. And I never won. Okay, make a wish. <laughs> I didn't make a wish I, yet. I didn't either. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why I was ripping it. Um, I wish, mm, okay. Okay. <laughs> ah, it's not coming true. <laughs> You just showed everyone your vagina. <laughs> Probably. My pie was delicious. But now I need to get the charger for the um, baby monitor because it's dying. And also I'm looking around the entire house for books because I'm trying to fill up the bookshelves right now. I thought we had a billion books and we kind of do, but like I thought we'd be able to fill those bookshelves that we built really easily. But there's actually a lot more to put in them. So I'm like, where are all our books? I think we didn't have as many as I thought we did. But I know there's some down here. So I'm gonna grab some more. Try to fill up these freaking shelves. This is where we're at right now. Looking pretty good, but there's some empty chunks that I gotta fill. So that's what I'm working on, but look what I found. I found an old headshot that I literally haven't seen. I like barely remember it. So this was one of my old headshots, like right when I moved to New York City to audition to be a Broadway star. That was the one I think I used the most. Look at that emo side swoop. But I don't even remember this one. But like, I love her. She's sultry. Her hair is hair sprayed to never move a singular muscle. Like, look every single hair perfectly in place. So unnatural. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that funny? I haven't had a headshot taken of me. Like, I've gotten like pictures taken when I get like make new merch or whatever, but like a headshot, headshot. Mm -mm. Like when I literally did Broadway, they make such a big deal when you're auditioning for shows in life, whether it be like community theater or Broadway, you have to have the perfect headshot, it's so important. And sure, it can be important that you have a good headshot so people know what you look like. But I didn't have a headshot when I did Broadway. And so I just like used a random picture that like kind of looked like a headshot that I had done once. It was like when Flynn had turned like three months old, I did a little photo shoot with Flynn, and like a family photo shoot. And one of those pictures I just randomly like cropped and like made a headshot. Even when I did Haters Back Off, like when I was casting it, we got a lot of headshots from people that were really professional, really nice, really beautiful. But a lot of people who auditioned, like, we just had like a black and white random, like, photo someone took on their phone. Like, and it didn't matter to me. I know it matters to some people. I'm not saying one way or the other, but it's just funny that, like, this was so important. I remember spending so much money on these headshots and thinking it was so important in order for me to move further in my career. And, like, then when I actually got on Broadway, I didn't even have headshots. So it's different for everyone, but. That was my experience. It's midnight, so I'm gonna wrap it up in here and not try to find any more books in my house. I know I have a bunch more in the garage, but I don't wanna go digging through the garage right now. So I'm going to say goodnight to you and see you guys tomorrow. Happy Thanksgiving. I hope you had a wonderful, wonderful day. I am thankful for you. The history of this holiday is a little Yucktown, USA. So I just like to think about family and things I'm thankful for and eating yummy food and not so much the history of this holiday. But um, yeah, what are you guys thankful for? Tell me in the comments below. I like hearing what people are thankful for. I'm thankful for my home and my family, and my wonderful children and my health and my job and you guys. Love you all very much and I'll see you soon. Is it Vlogmas yet? Am I supposed to be vlogging every day? I don't think that's gonna happen guys. I can barely keep up with five days a week. Bye.